Hi guys sports here news briefs. Soccer. Arsenal top Europa League group. Man United face playoffs. Kieran Tierney's first half goal secured a 1-0 home victory for Arsenal over FC Zurich and top spot in Europa League Group A on Thursday, but Manchester United could only finish runners-up in their pool and will go into February's playoffs. Tierney's superb 25-yard strike from Arsenal the win in a game they largely dominated but they had to withstand pressure from the Swiss side at the end to finish with 15 points, two ahead of second-placed PSV Eindhoven. Argentine teenager Alejandro Garnico scored in United's 1-0 win at Real Sociedad, but it was not enough to unseat the Spanish side from the top of Group E and Eric Ten Hag's men had to settle for second place on goal difference. The eight group winners qualify for the last 16 while the runners-up compete in the playoffs where they face the teams that came third in their Champions League groups, with potential opponents including Ajax Amsterdam, Barcelona and Juventus. The draw for the next stage will be held on Monday. Arsenal spurned numerous opportunities to double their advantage and were almost made to pay. Gabriel Jesus unwittingly kept out a goal-bound shot from teammate Fabio Vieira when it struck him a few yards out with goalkeeper Yannick Brecker beaten. Zurich had the ball in the back of the net from a rare foray forward in the second half, but Adrian Guerrero was flagged for offside and they wasted a number of late chances to snatch a draw. An own goal from Alphonse Sampsted and a strike by Johan Bakayoko earned PSV a 2-1 win at Bodo Glimt who finished third in the pool. Lorenzo Pellegrini scored two second-half penalties as as Roma came from behind to defeat Bulgarian visitors Ludogorets 3-1 and take second place in Group C Real Betis top the pool. Fenerbahce claimed a 2-0 win over Dynamo Kyiv in neutral Poland to top Group B ahead of Wren, while the Ukrainians dropped out of European competition as they finished fourth. Substitute Santiago Jimenez scored the only goal as Feyenoord defeated Lazio 1-0 to top Group F, where all four teams finished on eight points. The Dutch side edged Mitchelland into second place on goals scored as the latter recorded a 2-0 win over Sturm Graz while Lazio finish third and drop into the Europa Conference League playoffs. Kevin Volland scored a hat-trick for as Monaco as they thumped Red Star Belgrade 4-1 to seal second place in Group H and a passage to the playoffs. Hungarians Ferencivaros topped the pool despite their 1-0 loss to Trabzonspor. Late goals from Mustafa Mohamed and Ludovic Blas earned non-2-0 win over Olympiakos Piraeus and second place in the group which was won by Freiburg. Sun Hun Min doubtful for Qatar World Cup after facial injury. South Korea captain Sun Hun Min will undergo surgery after fracturing his left eye socket, raising doubts over his availability for the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. Sun, one of Asian football's highest-profile players, was caught by Chancel Mbemba as he attempted to flick on a high ball during the first half of Tottenham's Champions League match at Marseille on Tuesday. After receiving lengthy treatment he was then helped off the field and appeared visibly disoriented. Retiring PK not as important or useful as before, says Xavi. Barcelona coach Xavi Hernandez says he understands Gerard Pique's decision to retire halfway through the season because the 35-year-old defender doesn't feel as important or useful to the team as before. PK announced he would play his final match at Camp Nou on Saturday against Almeria, while he will also be available for the club's last game before the World Cup at Osasuna on Tuesday. Gerard PK will retire from football after Barcelona's game versus Almeria on Saturday. Timo Werner will miss the World Cup due to an ankle injury cricket. NZ comfortably beat Ireland by 35 runs despite Little's hat-trick. New Zealand beat Ireland by 35 runs in the Super 12 match of the 2020 World Cup at Adelaide Oval. In the match played in Adelaide, Ireland won the toss and invited New Zealand to bat first and New Zealand scored 185 runs for the loss of six wickets in the stipulated overs. Kiwi skipper Kane Williamson scored 61 off 31 balls and Daryl Mitchell remained unbeaten on 31 runs in New Zealand's innings. 
chasing the target given by New Zealand, Ireland could score only 150 runs in 20 overs. Williamson was named player of the match at for his prolific 61 from 35 balls. Ireland's Joshua Little took a hat-trick against New Zealand. Ireland's leading bowler Little took three wickets for 21 runs, Mark Adair took one wicket with 39 runs and Gareth Delaney took two wickets with 30 runs. Australia vs Afghanistan Glenn Maxwell keeps defending champions alive in hunt for World Cup semi-finals. Glenn Maxwell's 32-ball 54 lifted Australia to 168-8, a total their bowlers defended by restricting the Afghans to 164-7 at the Adelaide Oval. Glenn Maxwell hit an unbeaten half-century to keep Australia in the hunt for the semi-finals of the 2020 World Cup with a tense four-run win over Afghanistan on Friday. The result ensured New Zealand, who outplayed Ireland in the first match of the day in Adelaide, booked their final four spot from Group 1. The hosts and defending champions Australia now need arch-rivals England to lose their final Super 12 match against Sri Lanka on Saturday to make the semis. Maxwell's 32-ball 54 lifted Australia to 168-8, a total their bowlers defended by restricting the Afghans to 164-7 at the Adelaide Oval. Rashid Khan hit an unbeaten 48 off 23 balls to make a fist of the chase and he smashed 16 runs off the final over from Marcus Stoinis to keep the home crowd on edge almost right to the end. Mohamed Nabi steps down as Afghanistan captain upon conclusion of T20 World Cup campaign. Mohamed Nabi on Friday announced that he has decided to step down as the captain of Afghanistan men's cricket team. The veteran all-rounder said that he will continue to serve Afghanistan if the management needs his service. Nabi, who also led the team during the Asia Cup in September earlier this year, made the announcement after Afghanistan's T20 World Cup came to an end following a narrow four-run defeat to Australia in their final group game at the Adelaide Oval. Nabi made the announcement through an official statement on social media. For more sports updates please keep watching our YouTube channel Sportsia or visit our Twitter handle.